Hi, everybody. How are we doing? I'll wait for the live to show up. Let's see, we are 18 seconds in. I see eight people in the room. Hello, everyone. Good evening. I see Bonnie in the first to chat, chat and run, chat and dash. Good to see you. Oh, goodness. It's been a long week. So I'll wait for a little bit for people to get in the room. And um, hopefully notifications went out. So, hi. How are you, Kathleen? Are you in Colorado? I'm back in Colorado. There's Jeff. Um, I got back last night with mom. Last night? <laughs> hi Sherry. Hi Becky. Good to see everybody. Um, yeah, we drove home uh, part of Sunday and Monday and got home last night. So mom got to head home um, before it got dark. So that worked out well. Hi Ramola. How are you doing tonight? And um, I know. I know. You've been out running around too. So I just got back from Kansas City yesterday, so. Hi, Denise, welcome. There's Kristen, good to see you. Thank you so much, Kristen. For... She is gonna be on her laptop helping to mod tonight. Thank you so much. I mean, I would have more caffeine too, but I, I won't be able to sleep if I have any more. I am not, I don't feel like totally run down. I'm just super tired. Gotta have another day or two to catch back up on sleep. But we are here. We got two boxes of Fenton Smalls to start with tonight. Hi, Pamela. Hi, Cindy. Welcome. And um, I have a few Halloween items to start at the beginning because I'm just trying to get them through to you guys here on YouTube before I take them to my booth and um, get them shipped out then in time for the holiday and all that good stuff. I know it is jet lag from the car. It was nice, though, this morning when I woke up, I went, oh, it's quarter to eight. And I went, oh, that's almost quarter to nine, how my brain was working for a week. So at least I'm, I have a little bit of extra time in the morning before I had to go to Lessa this morning. But we did it. We're out. We're going. Hi, Mary Beth. Yeah, it's just, it's just a lot. And being in the hotel for, I mean, it's fantastic that we don't have to leave the hotel for the Fenton Gala. However, all that air conditioning on so cold for so long starts to get to me. So, but we are working on getting some extra rest. I'll have that go in the next day or so. And hopefully we'll be right back on schedule again. Hello, Nancy. Welcome. Good evening. Hi, I'm Becky from Vintage Viking Treasures. If y'all don't know me, this is my channel, Vintage Viking. Silly. Um lag. I'm guessing that we are not on Wi-Fi. Nope. We are on cellular data. Am I back? Try not to talk when it does it on my end, but I'm back here. So um, it's because my phone's been um, searching for Wi-Fi networks the whole time I've been gone or every night when we get to a hotel. So hopefully we're good for that for the rest of tonight. But I do all vintage items. I specialize a lot in glass and Scandinavian stuff as well. Yes, they had snow up on Pikes Peak while we were gone. So, yeah, it got kind of chilly up there at that big high elevation. I, had, I guess they had rain almost every day when we were gone. So it cooled off. We left when we were after a week and a half of, of mid to 90s. So it was nice and warm when we left. And... Um, it was about 90 in Kansas when we came home, but nice and comfortable once we got back in Colorado. So that's awesome. Um, let's see. Housekeeping stuff. I invoice to PayPal. I need your um, PayPal e email address, your YouTube name, your real name, and your zip code for shipping invoices. I ship, um, excuse me, I invoice usually within 48 hours of doing a live sale, and I will be combining tonight's live with last week's live that I did when I was on the road from last Tuesday. And therefore I will be combining shipping on those two weeks. 
I can tell this is where it's going to get me tonight. So, <laughs> it's my friend Kathleen. She was. She must have people in town. She went up to the top of the peak. Um, let's see. So, I ask that you pay within 48 hours of receiving your invoice, and I ship within 48 hours. Now, all things reasonably considered, if you need to communicate me with about something, do so. You know, I have plenty to do. I can put it down at the bottom of the list and eventually I'll get done. It's not a big problem. Just communicate. That's all I ask. So, um, again, I'm shipping out of the middle of the country, basically, in Colorado Springs. And I use, um, I use Pirate Ship and PayPal shipping. They are virtually the same rate for um, business accounts. So that's what I use. Okay. So I did ask ahead of time if Miss uh, Kristen would be able to help Maude tonight without putting her on the spot after seeing her in the chat and she graciously accepted. So she will be modding in the chat for us this evening. And like I said, I have two banana boxes full of Fenton. We'll see how far we can get. Hi, Leanne, welcome. So I'm going to start with, I have a couple Halloween items, and then we'll start opening Fenton. It is um, smalls that I packed two boxes from my um, room sales in Kansas City. So um, I tried to keep it something that was a little more reasonable on size and weight for shipping. And it's just easier be for me, especially between shows, because I have another show coming up in Loveland in two weeks. So I have to pack for that and I love for you guys to get some Fenton and I thought smalls would be a great way to do it this time around. So, Oh, Kristen does a great job. We all have had a good experience with her helping out in the past. So hi Geneva. Welcome. And there's Carol. Hi Carol. So quick to start with the majority of my items will be a um, starting offer, which I'll give you a starting price. If no one's coming in, excuse me, if there's only one person coming in on that starting price, it turns into a countdown and we call it sold. Otherwise, if there's multiple people coming in, it starts a rolling offer and um, everyone has a chance to respond to a previous offer until everyone is out and everyone is good. There's no last minute jumping in on the bids for me. I always make sure that we open it back up and um, just like being in a real live um, sale. So. First off, I found this little cross stitch that someone had made into a pillow. And this can start at um, $12. It is about five by five square. It's that burlap kind of um, background cross stitch. Oh, thank you, Kristen. And some, I mean, even if this was made for Halloween crafts that somebody was doing a lot of them. That's a lot of work to do all that stitching beforehand. So we have the black cat, we have jack-o'-lantern, we have a moon, and we have this lovely witch with her holding a candle. They made it into a little pillow, and put the um, trim all the way around, and put a little hanger on it. So it could go on a wall, it could go on a display, it could go on a tree, all sorts of different places. So I know. I was really surprised um, when I saw it. And I liked this one the best. It was a, uh, it had the greatest character on it. So, and as always, if you're watching the replay, <coughs> excuse me, um, you can claim something in the comments and or send me an email at this address and I will work with what hasn't sold during the live sale. So, the other thing, though, is if I do put it in my booth, I cannot guarantee until I go and check at my booth to make sure it hasn't disappeared somehow, even if it hasn't showed up as sold. So I make sure that I go to the booth, put my hands on it before I tell you that it is available, if it has made it to my booth by then. So, oh, my chat is jumping in and out. Okay, this will be a choice. These are hobby little ghosts, and uh, they will start at $8 choice. I'll probably put 12 each on them at my booth. His face is amazing. They are um, four and a half inches tall, about five inches long on the other one. CM, 
was the hobbyist in 1982. So what, 41 years ago, they made these cute little ghosts. We get details on his little hands and little face. It just, I, I couldn't leave him there. I loved his face. And then his <clears throat> partner and choice is a little seductive ghost. We have the seductive pixies, the seductive cherubs, and here he is. He's like, hey, <laughs> boo. <laughs> hey, it's so cute, though. I mean, even just to be able to do the eyes well is a uh, good job, CM. And they made this one the year before in 1981. <clears throat> so these are the two choices. That's about their sizes. And I don't see any marks for the molds on these, who the mold maker was. I'm pixelated. Uh-oh. Well, I'll give it one chance to pop on to Wi-Fi. Doesn't like me on the Wi Fi at all. There's things I can do. No, I know. I mean, I, I can get into. How about now? <clears throat> I tried to jump onto the Wi Fi and it just didn't want to connect. Right, Jill? Shouldn't have said boo. Am I back? I see myself back. Let's see how this looks on this end. Okay. I don't know. Don't know why it's so frustrating. I usually am okay with just being on the cellular, but I haven't been home for a week, so it just might be fussy with me. Now my nose itches. Slightly better. <coughs> well, that was strange. I thought I was going to sneeze. Hooray. Okay. Well, we'll pass on the ghost because they clearly are not helping us out any. Let's see. I'm going to change my setting on the one I'm watching on to see how the um, pixelation is, if that helps any. Thank you. Okay. Silly phone, silly, silly uh, cellular stuff. Well, let's see. I'll keep talking and you tell me how we're doing. And the next, I have a choice. I have some pillow covers. And they are 17 by 17. They are the Halloween style. They'll be choice, start at $4. They are zippered. They do not... So you can put them on any pillow you want and you can switch them out for different seasons. So I have Spooky with the plaid. How is it doing that? You're right. It's it's jumping all over the place on my tablet. Let me try one more thing on my thing on my tablet to see if it's doing anything. <clears throat> Excuse me. Second choice is trick or treat with the candies on it. it. Has the burlap on the back. Wow. Hmm. 
Pocus Pocus, the orange polka dots. Am I still being jumpy, Kristen? And of course, my favorite is the Happy Halloween with the gnomes. I have the um, invisible zippers right here for putting in any color you like. See, I don't know if it's just my tablet being that way or if it's really jumping around on my phone. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to try one more time to connect. And see what it tells me. Okay, how about this? I'm, it says I'm connected to the Wi-Fi. Let's just hocus pocus magically do it this time. How's that? Oh my goodness. Who would think it need to be this difficult? Usually I have a harder time being in the hotel rooms where I forget to jump onto the Wi-Fi, but. How about now? Let's see, is there the things? And hi, Bonnie. Good to see you. Much better now? All right, I won't touch anything else. So I'll just go through these one more time. Happy Halloween with the gnomes. Focus, focus with polka dots. Oh, good. Thank you, Pamela. Trick or treat with the candies. And let's get spooky. Now, I would have gotten all just gnomes if I was able to just pick, but you know, I had to get it, it was available in the variety. Pack. So, all right. We'll just carry on and start on glass. So what I'm going, what I figured I would do would be to um, start out with, um, I'll have to figure out a place to put all my wraps. I'll tell you what I had it at the show and we'll start it at about 25% off and go from there. So, okay. This is one of those little pudgy ducks. He has an orange or a um, peach color. He's an older one. His is his original sticker and his original retail. I had him at 25 in my room sales. So he would be 37.50 as a start. Hi, Mallory. There's mom. Hi, mom. And I'm gonna put um, this behind it. Now, based on the color code on him, it was one of those things where he is not a common color that we see. So the color code and the mold code are part of that. Six, excuse me, 5169SA. It's nice and plain, but he is super glossy and really clear glass. Should probably just round up. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter on the on the change. When I'm doing a show, change is no fun to do, especially when you have to mess with packs. It's a lot of it's a lot of coins. Okay, next up, I have a mini dot creamer in cranberry with a clear handle. I had it at $40, so the start would be $30 here. It is approximately four and a half inches tall to the top of the, um, the curve of the, the creamer handle and the spout. It is pre-logo. 
so it was before the 70s and it doesn't have any opalescence in it so oh if i'm remembering something about that a lot of things happened around um because um there's something about around the war times they didn't put as much opalescence in because it was a chemical they needed for other things so and since I have so many options tonight and I do have two boxes full, I'm just going to pop it up there. And if there's something you're interested in, put in, um, go ahead and put a description in there as well. Because if I get a couple down the road, we don't want to um, mix them up between. All right, next is a sleeping fawn or laying down fawn. It is uh, naturally painted in the opaline satin and here is the painter let's see who was the painter pam d pam d is the artist i had it up for 45 dollars, so it would be a start of let's just do third um 45 goodness half and half Thirty-three, because my brain is slow on the math tonight. Yes, and it because it is um, on the white. It almost looks like one during the winter time. To me, I think it looks better with some of the winter um, scenes and such. But it is definitely a white opal glass. Some of them are ivory. This is white. Oh, Mallory is in at 33. Let's see. Um, okay. Give it a little bit. I'm doing this tonight a lot. I thought I had a voice until I talked a while. And it has been coming and going all night. So we can count it down for Mallory. Right, it would look really fun with some of the Christmas trees. I agree. Okay. Counting it down. Oh, yeah. They look really nice against the black trees with the black glass. I have one up there. Right up there somewhere. I agree. Thank you, Mallory. Now I have a couple of the different mini vases. This is a perfume. Had it at 20. Let's just do a quick claim. $10. It is the French opalescent, and I am missing the stopper. Um, the only thing on the base of it is my sticker, so there's no logo. So, first one in with perfume. This one will be $10. The other choice at $10 will be the cornucopia mini vase. It is also the French opalescent with the deco crimp, which means it doesn't have, it's just one crimp pulled up and down for the cornucopia. It doesn't have the crimp that we normally see that looks like a uh, ribbon candy. And it is also pre-logo. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, see Patsy in for the perfume. Thank you, Miss Patsy. have the mini vase, which has, oh, I'd have to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's a eight crimps on that edge. It'll be a $10 quick claim. These are just the little, like about three inch tall mini vases, three and a half inches. And I also have the mini vase in the saddle crimp. And this one will also be a $10 quick claim. 
So this is a similar shape base in the first place. And then based on how they crimp it, is how it is pulled out. All of them are free logo. Nothing on the bottom. Which one did you want, Miss Patsy? The a crimp or the saddle crimp? And the saddle. Perfect. Thank you, Miss Patsy. Oh, come on, tape, coordinate, cooperate, whatever the word is. So these two are available, the cornucopia or the crypt base. Those will probably end up in my booth. All right, this piece is a, um, find the right spot for the mark right there. I think it's Leve. I have to double check. It's two initials and I can't remember. It is a clear strawberry and it is marked Leve, but it is spent in glass. It was made for Leve. It is $35, so 25% off would be just about, let's just make it 25. It has the uh, clear stem as well. Now this is a solid, um, pretty heavy piece of glass. Or Gibson, I can't remember, it's not Gibson. Yeah, it's got the L on there. I think what I'm remembering is, I said it wrong. I did say it wrong. It is made, I think for LeVay. Now LeVay made it with Fenton Cullet, I think is where it is. But I've totally said it backwards. You'll have to forgive me if I did. Not all my memory is back. After doing all that driving, my brain is a little bit slow, but. I did, Mallory. I did put them in my booth. There was a Minnie Mouse with all sequins on it. And there was a Minnie Mouse with a candy corn witch hat, I believe. All right. Strawberry, you sit still over there. This is a really neat set. Now it is priced at this price point because it has a it has a chip, but I couldn't find it back until I was packing it up. So this is a sugar and creamer pair. It is a green overlay. The handle is in the total green. And this is the Jacqueline Panner, which is the, what it looks like the artichoke on it. <laughs> Thanks, Ma. And so this was originally 75. So let's, 60 will be where we started at. And I'll see if I can find the chip for you. It does have a chip. Is right here. On this one crimp right underneath, it's really hard to see, but there it's catching the light just a little bit. So it's under the lip. And the, the amazing thing about this color is that it glows like crazy. That super bright uranium green color. Is there something else I was going to look at? This, but it's um, showing up. There we go. The green color is the one with the um. Oh yeah! Wow, look at that. That was in a really good spot right there. You can see the pattern. You can see the glow. If this didn't have a chip, it probably would have started out at around one hundred and twenty-five dollars to start with. It is um, 
the colorway that glows is harder to find because um, there are a couple different greens and they don't all glow. So, hi Anna, welcome. So you can barely see it right here. And then I'm gonna try and get the light to catch on it again. There's not even enough of the green missing so that you can see just the white. But it has definitely got a little chip right there. Which is a bummer. Probably somebody just knocked it using it. Which is great because that's what this glass was made for was to be used. Yeah, we have a couple people in Colorado Springs that collect the... Um, Jacqueline pattern comes in um, vases and baskets, a couple different vase sizes. Okay, I have some trees. They are heavy. I'm going to go ahead and um, give you a quick weigh on this one. I know it all has a, a story, doesn't it? With a chipped on it. We'll, we'll just make up wonderful stories about it. I wish I would talk occasionally where it came from, what it, where it's been. This tree is one pound, six ounces. Um, the original price on it at my show was 125. So let's see, five. So 95 is where I will start it here for you all. I believe it is spruce green, but I'm not totally sure on the name of this color. It is frosted with white frit and it has the partridge brass um, character attached to it. It is the six and a half inch size tree. Trees became really hard to find and very popular in the last four or five years. Unfortunately, this one does not glow. Oh wait, does it glow? Okay. It's not much, but it does. So I'm gonna try and show you. It's just like a warm lime green undertone if you had a whole black light display, you would definitely be able to see it because I have the the 365 black light on it and you can kind of see the difference. Oh yeah, you can see it up into the branches. I did not know that this color did that. Huh, look at that. Interesting. Bonus to this color today is that it does glow. This is the older mold and design. The other one is a little more stylized and it has like a V-shaped branches. It is, it's really kind of fun. They started putting different um, little charms on them. I know there were teddy bears and birds. This is a partridge, a bow, kind of like the on the angels that they put like the little flower with the birthstones in it one of their ways to change up their colors as they went over over time. Now I picked this guy up just for you guys because he has a chip on his ear right there. But I'm gonna I saved him from the chip pile. And he's gonna be a $10 start because of his ear. He is that opal colored glass that is painted on with some purpley pink flowers and the closed eyes with that cute little heart-shaped nose. And here is, let's see, I gotta read the artist's name. Uh, J, oh, I can't pronounce that one. But that's the artist's name. A few of them are just really hard to read. There's the Fenton sticker and the Fenton logo is right here. But I know everybody loves cats and um, you really can't see it because it's the same very, other than hitting it right there in the light. You can just see that little shiny chip. But I have such a hard time finding cats. I knew if somebody would love him. Painted cat. And we can count him down for Mallory. 
for her, whoever she is. She's got a nice little uh, same palette, color palette collection going to critters here. Ooh. All right, going once, going twice. All right. <laughs> That's right. She's like, I've had enough. And we are sold. Thank you so much, Mallory. I have a choice of bells. I'll do start at $5 each. This is Colonial Green and Hobnail. I had it at 12 If you love a bell, I'm more than willing to give you a deal on it. This one is a blue with a floral painting. And let's see, right inside here is the artist's signature. And painted by S. Byron, B-R-Y-N-N, -N, I believe. They are both approximately five and a half inches on the green and six and a half inches on the blue. I know, I have a hard time finding them. Critters have gone up so much. I would say five, six years ago, we used to be able to pick them up for literally five, ten dollars a piece. And now you can barely get them for, you know, 20 and 30 dollars. So it's really hard to bring them for um, to the retail, you know, to a, to another sale. And um, so for sure, grab that guy with a little chip on his ear. They got some good sound to them. Good night, Kathleen. I'll talk to you later. We're doing this, though, so they don't ring all night long. That is not what we need. Making noise. All right, Pamela's going to be five on the bluebell. Thank you, Pamela. And we can count that down for Pam. Pam, Pamela, sorry. All right. Kristen's on it. I'll unpack another one while we're finished counting that one down. This is a fun one. Thank you. Thanks so much, Pam. I have a mini hand vase. So these are similar to the size of those mini hobnail vases. It is just under four inches tall. So two and, no, excuse me, three and three quarters inches tall is a blue with the opalescent. I had it at 35 and I would start it at 25 for you all. Has the... Um, all the detail of the hand holding the vase. It, is, it does not have a logo. I've had these in several colors. I've had French opalescent, topaz opalescent, the blue opalescent, and those are the three I can remember really well. But he's just about this big. And they've also made this in several different sizes. The big one is probably 12, 13 inches tall. But I love the little miniatures. All right, we have Geneva in at 25. We can count it down. And write it down while we're going. Oh, Patsy's. Oh, all right, Patsy's going in. Pamela's coming in at 30. There's a little lag, so... I will pick another one while you guys make your decisions on it. So we have Pamela at 30. Oh, well, that doesn't help us. That is just a lid to a, whoops, nothing got broke, just dinged, just making noise. Geneva is out. Thank you, Geneva. Miss Patsy, do you like to be in or out? Oh, I found them. Found some. 
Oh my goodness. Furry lights. Patsy says 32. Again, this is just almost four inches tall. It's a quarter inch short. And in comparison to the other mini size, it is just a little bit taller. All right. We have Pamela out, Patsy in. Thank you so much, everyone. And she's counting it down for me. Thank you. Thank you, Kristen. And we're sold to Patsy. Thank you, everyone, Miss Patsy. Uh, next I have is a miniature, not miniature clock. It's a clock. It's a small size. So it's a fit in glass, and it has this clock that is an inset piece. It does pop out of the glass right here, just like that. So it has the battery opening on the back and the place for setting the clock. Um... And it does have the fun Fenton logo right there on the face of the clock. This is a $45 when I had it at my um, room sale. I would start it at start it at 30 here. Hi, Madge. Thank you so much. Oh, you're always welcome to come and hang out and uh, chat with us anytime. It does have a partial gift shop sticker on the bottom of it. And then I was going to look for, and right here is that Fenton logo right on the bottom of it. It is, it's just about three inches across and three inches tall and just about one inch deep. The nice green color. Green, Pamela. I don't. I. I don't know what name of this color is. Let's see. So here's the green we had with the tree, and here is the clock. So it's a little bit paler, a little more transparent. I'll put the white envelope behind it. Bring it up here. It's not as dark as the tree. One of the things that um. Yeah, it's not forest green because it's it's lighter than that. But um, one of the things that um, when I was at NFGS this summer out in West Virginia and um, oh no, think of her first name, but um, they were doing the Fintons were going around and talking about the table displays, and she's telling a story about one of the reasons why they had um, named their colors, and she said. It'd be really nice. Somebody was talking about the names of the colors and they're saying, yeah, ha ha ha. There's 52 colors of blue. So there's been so many different colors over the years that unless you know exactly, you know, if you're more familiar with when the, the molds were made, um, then it helps you kind of clue into what the color name is. But that is something that on like all the blues and all the greens, there's only certain ones that I have memorized, unfortunately because there's just some nuances between some of them. So I am, have, I am not a memorizer of the books. I am a go look for it and we'll see if we can find it. I would guess this is probably 80s, 90s era on the clock though. I know, it's really crazy. So, all right. Next up I have a ruby shade with a diamond optic on a clear base with white holly and berries painted on it. I had it at 45. So I will start it at 35 for you all here. This is that standard size fairy light, which is just about five inches tall. It has two panels painted on it. This would be the front panel, right Mallory? 
And this would be the back. So it's just a fewer leaves and needles and berries. Um, let's see if I can read who painted it. Painted by Darlene Mag Magnahan. M A G E E H A N. It's actually pretty easy to read because it's white on ruby. You can see that diamond optic. Oop, got a lots of glare on it. And that is pressed in from the inside of the glass. And I can't even light it up. Where's my I have one? Here we go. Let's see if it's got enough power in it to light it up a little bit. You can kind of see it inside there. It is. It's the ruby is really pretty. And I like the simplicity of the white painting on it. One of the neat things we did find out um, during this convention was um, the theme was crests. So like silver crests, all the different color crests on all the different shapes of the glass that they did. And someone wasn't even part of that display. Okay, it was part of the Glass identification. I'm sorry, my brain's jumping all over the place. And someone had one of these fairy lamps. They made this lamp in one piece. So this was new information to me, where the mold had it like this, and it would they'd cut it off, and they took it, and they swung this up, and they made it into a bud base like that. It was really cool. So I might eventually have to revisit that to make sure I have it all correct in how they made it. But that was my understanding that this was a two piece piece of glass that they poured in one mold and they would cut off the one piece. They cut it off here, which was where that is nice and shiny where they polish it down and they cut it off there. And then it fits right into this piece right here. All right, we have MJ in at 41. Hi, MJ, welcome. So we're going to say Ruby with clear, very light. And Pam, are you in or out? If you'd let us know, that would be great. I do probably have. One, two, I have at least three more fairy lights in the boxes. I'm going to set it down so I don't drop it. Pam is out. Thank you so much. So we can count it down for MJ. MJ, let me know um, if you want me to hold items or ship them for you. As we will be up at the Loveland show. Um, not this weekend, but next weekend for the Rocky Mountain Glass Show. 41. Thank you so much, MJ, and thank you for, for your offers as well, Pam. All right. Perfect. You can send it in an email. You don't have to put it out on, on here if you don't want everybody to. That's fine. This is a unique, um, the shape isn't unique, but the finish on it is unique. So, yay, that'll be fun. That's it, yeah, we'll start setting up for that show a week from it's Thursday, I think is the first day, and then Friday we do the second day of setup because they split it up because they have a lot of people that come in from further out and they want them to have a little more time for setup. And then the show is... Friday, uh, excuse me, Saturday and Sunday, I believe. Okay, wonderful. Thank you, MJ. So this is the bird that's like that little fat cheek budgie bird. The unique part of this piece is that it has in the Louise Piper collection of luster finishes. I had it started at 150 at my booth. Here's the tag about it. It is 
five, uh, excuse me, 5160, I believe, is the name of her cor color for the orange luster. Um, she also did um, a ruby luster over the clear critters. They were limited in quantities. So that is why this piece is higher. So I would start it at 120 if anyone was interested in this one. It is that standard bird size. This is it in ruby. It's got the really cute little cheeks. Kind of a chickadee looking bird. And there is the 70s, 80s sticker on her as well. Understandably, that one's a little bit higher. But I'm bringing you all the smalls that I had, so... It is. It's fun. Okay, next up will be the ruby in the same shape. And I had her started at 40. So we'll start at 30. And where is that? Looking for the logo. Found some more tape. Take that tape off. There we go. Where is the logo hiding? There it is, right in front of the wing on the front side. It's a really nice ruby color. Same as that shade we just had on the fairy light. This is one of my favorite bird shapes. They have taken this shape and done it in all sorts of colorways, all sorts of painting. They've also done it in the realistic ones and done um, cardinals and finches and bluebirds and anything you can imagine. They've done a really good job using this mold and making him um, collectible in all different ways because of the different patterns and shapes, that, or excuse me, colorways that they have put on them. I know, you know, tape and stickers, kind of crazy. Because the other thing is, is we, um, oh, look, we, um, when we are packing, sometimes our, our labels stick to the wrap so that we have to reprice things. All right. Um, yes, but very little glow. So right here on the tip of his wing, um, both on each side. There is some of that cadmium color glow. And then on the underside of his wings, let's see. Oh, yeah. That's where you're really seeing it. Unfortunately. And then on his tail. Unfortunately. Hi, Sandy. Good to see you. The, the side that's going to be more visible is at top of his wing. And it, it is just that edge, that back edge that you're seeing. It does glow with the cadmium. Good call. Yep. I didn't see it on the top of the tail. Mostly on the bottom side of the tail. I forget that Ruby glows occasionally. Oh, we have more fairy lights than I remember. This must be the box that got most of the fairy lights in it. This one uh, has three pieces, so I have to find... The other piece for us. Sure, Nancy, not a problem. I always need reminders. Okay, we'll just go on a fairy lamp kick. This is a three piece amber Persian medallion fairy light. So, this is the base with the ballerina crimp. So, it's like turned down a little bit and it has that really crimpy, extra crimpy. Uh, ribbon candy kind of look to it right there. And then here is the insert in clear. And here is the shade with that Persian medallion pattern. Here's what I had it for at my booth. Keep saying booth, regardless. That's what I had at price. So let's see, 20% of that would be two, eight. So let's just take $30 off and it would start at one. Let's just round it down to 100. Let's just do that. Now, this is a bigger size. Let's see. Right, set it down. 
seven inches tall and about five inches across. I'm going to put the um, very a little light in here so you can see the glow of the glass, how it lights up. This is where they cut and ground and polish the top edge of that. You can't. That is usually where you would have chips, and I don't see or feel anything on that one. This one is in really good condition. And this is colonial amber, and it does not glow. I know. And then the colonial amber was a 70s into the 80s color. It has that big, giant Fenton logo on the base. So we'll move him over to the side. Now I do have something that isn't Fenton that is in my smalls, and I thought it'd be a great time to bring it because it is a pumpkin. I have two of them. And I had it written down as to who the maker was, and now I don't know where it is. Oh, yeah, Jill, you're right. It would be really great for things. goes right into Thanksgiving. I'm not seeing a signature on these, but I was told that this was a um, made by a glass artist out of um, uh, Portland, Oregon, I believe. Or Washington. Way that west coast. I think it's Oregon, though. They are a almost such a pale yellow in color. This one I had priced at $50, but it has right on the end of its curly cue. It is missing that last piece of glass. It got knocked or chipped off. So this one can start at um, $35. And this one will need to start at 45 because it is in. See how that piece goes right up at the end there? And that's what this one is missing. But the amazing part of these pumpkins is they glow that bright green Vaseline color glow, uranium glass glow. So whatever they used to make this um, colored glass, that's what they glow. Both of them do. So I have the choice of the one with the intact curl at 45 start and the one missing the little tip right here starting at 35. Let's see if I can, let's see if we can get both of them up there. There they both are, not gonna be very long. That is just a balancing act and you can see they both glow. I have it written down from um, my summer, from my summer trip from West Virginia, the name of this artist. So I can try and put that with it. To, I looked him up and it's just not gonna come to me. I'm sorry, guys. All right, so we have Miss Patsy in at 45. I know, I know these are really cool. When I saw that they were glowy ones, I thought, oh, that's amazing. I know that Eric has been working with some of that glass that like, um, that you can, that he's rolling in the frit that has the glowing like speckles and spots. So that's really cool. But I'm sure that this is something that um, whatever chemical they used and or they melted down some other glass to create this color. Because it doesn't look green. It's a very, very, very pale yellow. And I think that's pretty much showing up. I mean, it's so pale in real life. Oh, okay. Where are we at? Oh, okay. I see you, Mallory. She thought you were asking for what it was. So Mallory is in at 35 and 45. 
And since I made it the choice, it kind of made it complicated, didn't it? So Miss Patsy, would you would um do you want it to be in Mallory is in at forty five on both of them first? There we go. Sorry, I made it complicated. I wanted to show them both. I probably should have showed them and then just started with one and then brought the other one. But I think we can handle it. So we'll see where we're at. So Miss Patsy, just let us know if you want to be in or out and we'll go from there. And I'll find the other fairy light to this base. Either way, Mallory, you were in first. You are correct. That's up to you, Mallory. If you want to um, be out on the other one and, and let Miss Patsy have it, that's totally up to you, hon. I did pick these up in West Virginia. And they came all the way from the West Coast. It's funny how the glass travels around this country. All right. All right. Sounds good, Mallory. So we will do... <laughs> I'm going to call it then. I'm going to call... This is the one with the curly Q intact. I'm calling that for Miss Patsy at 45. And I am calling this one. For 35 for Miss Mallory. I don't see anyone else in. No use for Miss Patsy to go above when Mallory is going to say she'll step back on the one. All right, Miss Ramola, I got you down for that. If, as long as Miss Patsy and Mallory are good with both of those options on the pumpkins, I will do some writing. And gold bird. That's a great get, Ramolo. Okay. Mallory's good. Awesome. All right, Miss Patsy. So I have you at 45 on the pumpkin. This guy right, right there. 45 for Patsy. <laughs> and 35 for Mallory. I'm going to put glow pumpkin. So we know what we're talking about. Perfect. And I will try not to be so complicated next time. All right. We got it. Thank you, ladies. Appreciate it. Perfect. All right. I found another tree when I was looking for the other half of that last fairy light. This is pink, iridized, with frit snow and the partridge charm again. It is just a smidge over four inches tall. I had it started at $65, so let's see, 12 of them. 43. Let's start it at 40 here. It's a really pretty pink color. Oh, do you need a um you need one of these, Ramola? I know who sells those. Our friends Ann and John Fenton have have extra ones of those. I see Mary Beth at 40. Yeah, it's just a beautiful color tree. If you have um, some of the displays that um, do the pinks, purples, and blues, and pastels like the Candylands, it'd be super cool. I'll see if I have an extra one, Ramola. And if I do, I will let you know what, what the price point is on it. I know. So, so not your normal color there, Mallory. But it is a beautiful colorway. I think they're usually somewhere between $15 and $20. If I have an extra one, it would be right around that. that. So. Okay. 
I'm fairly certain either they have the mold for it or they know who does and they order them. So she gets in a stack of them occasionally when we're out at Springfield. And sometimes I pick up extra ones just so I have it. Um, I see Mary Beth in first at 40, Ramola, and then you were right after her. I believe so if you would like to be make sure of here yep mary beth came in first Jermola, you need to be 40 one or higher thank you kristen that's how i see it on both of my devices i will miss patsy i will make a point to um i know where that should be so I will double check my receipt and my book where it was written down and see if I can come up with it for you. So we have the pink tree. Oh yeah. We should ask Stephen if he has any. Let me see. Oh it has this fitting sticker right inside there and does it have a it's gotta have the logo in there somewhere too. I don't know where they put the logo on the trees, honestly. I would have to search that down. I honestly don't know where they put it. It's probably on one of these, right on the side of one of these limbs on the outside. I don't know if I have found it before. It's like, where's Waldo? Ramola is out. <laughs> no worries. So we have Mary Beth on the tree. We can count her down. <laughs> right? Thank you, ladies. Turn us down. I have it written out. You know, Stephen's still like, I can't find enough printing. But um, you just never know what you're going to run into. That is part of something. That is in another box. I do know that. Sold the Mary Beth. Thank you so much. Oh, I have a couple more. Oh, well, a couple of mini vases. We'll do a um, quick claim on these as well. This is the blue with the opalescent tri crimp. Be $10 quick claim. These are the uh, three and a half inch tall mini vase. And I have one in cranberry that's a fan base with opalescence, but it has a blown out base. So I was told that basically it probably had an air bubble in it and it probably popped when it sat down, but I've always thought it'd be kind of cool to make it into like a nightlight or something. And it will also be a $10 quick claim. And because oh, it had 20 on it and it is the cranberry opalescent smooshed out to that fan base shape. So these are the two that are Available at $10 for that. I might just have to make it into one myself. If I can find a really good um, base. The problem would be getting um, the right size bulb, I think, into that. So, right. I think it'd be really cute to make it into a shade. So, Mary Beth, which one did you want? She wants the pink one. All right. And you're aware, just making sure you're aware that there is no no base on that and it has it has a little a jagged part there but it'd be really cool to make into something because i brought this to a glass id um one year because i didn't know if maybe they did make this size in a shade in a fan base i would hope so I would think that that would be a good um, good starting point. Or some of those LED lights are really narrow bulbs. Okay, either way, Mary Beth, if you didn't see that, I totally understand. Yep, you may pass, not a problem. Set it to the side. 
Not a problem at all. Okay. Oh, yeah. Here's the one that goes with this three-piece set. Okay. So this one is, I believe, Ellie Smith. Made for Ellie Smith. And it's a stars pattern. Miss Paula, hi, good evening, good to see you. It is in the pastel transparent blue and it is five and a half inches across with all the pieces stacked. It is just about seven and a half inches tall and we had it at $95, so it will be a start at $75. I'm going to put the light in it again so it can show off the glass a little bit. And oh, there's a small surprise. Let's see if we can get this to show up. This, this blue has a slight green glow to it. You can see it right around the edge. So again, if it's in daylight it's really hard to see but if you had a black light display where it was very bright black light you would be able to see it well hello steel whisperer welcome good to see you thanks for coming tonight don't forget the thumbs up everyone i appreciate it so much and as always please make sure you are subscribed to the channel because those um Subscriptions come and go sometimes, and want to make sure you get your notifications for when I'm having a live sale. There's the clear insert, which is the same as the other one, which is a pretty standard insert. And you have like the stippling or background and the stars. Ramola says 75. Thank you, Ramola. And it is, here's, there's about, I can't hold that. There we go. <laughs> there's straight, so we don't tip it over. Steel says 80. I'm going to turn the light back on. Put this little tea light back in there. Since it is Ellie Smith, it does not have a mark on it. Let's say star fairy light three piece Romola. Would you like to be eighty one or higher? There's definitely that real pale blue color. Bring that white up there so you can see it pretty well. Ramola says 82. I'm guessing you go by steel. I have not seen your name in my chat before. Let me know if that's what you go by. And um, let us know if you'd like to be in or out. Let's see. That one goes there. Like a frosty blue? Well, it's because of the, I think they call it like a deckled background. It's the pattern in the glass. And here it's clear. And you can see that it's smooth on the inside. So it's got a pattern to it. And that's why it looks kind of frosted. But where there's no pattern, it is nice and smooth and transparent. Hope that shows through pretty well there. Miss Paula, Kristen agreed to help me out tonight. I know you've been working late, or I give you a break. And I just wanted to make sure with uh, trying to go through quick tonight on Fenton that I had some assistance. So 
she agreed to do some modding for me tonight. Ramola is out. We're counting it down. And we have steel in at 84. Set it down. And we are sold. Thank you so much. Thank you all for your offers. And I don't know if I have your information. So if you make sure and send me your info at my email address, that would be super great. Thank you so much. Yeah, I haven't had this many fairy lights in the same box in a long time. All right, next up, I have a little mini custard Blue Roses on Custard mini basket. Here is the old logo. And it is painted by Marilyn Wagner. Um, I had it start at 35. So let's say 27 on the start. Here's her signature. Marilyn Wagner is an artist that is highly sought after. And she has recently passed away now um, this July, I believe. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. And because it's on custard, it glows that bright green, that's hard to see with the white, there we go. Bright green color with blue roses on both sides. I think it's almost the same pattern on both sides of that. Yep, it glows. It's a cute little, um, it has a little, basket weave kind of pattern on the handle but it's really hard to there it goes there it is so it has some detailing on the handle this one is just about five and just under five and a half inches tall it actually has two stickers on it one here and one inside right there and it is pre-logo but it is definitely signed That one off. There we go. We're almost to the bottom of the first box. See how long. See how long I last tonight. I know they were sticking sticking stickers everywhere. All right, I have a chocolate owl. Oh, Patsy's going to be in. All right, Miss Patsy. That is the custard basket. <coughs> Excuse me. We have Miss Patsy at 27. Counting it down. I appreciate that. There we go. Right there. Once going twice. Sold to Miss Patsy. Thank you so much. All right, this is the guy that I was starting to show you. Let's see, where is his, they hide the logo so much. Anyway, this is the large owl, it's in chocolate. It have been made for the 95th anniversary, which was in 1995, I believe, if I'm remembering my over and over again from John Walk and Stephen Embry. Just under six inches tall, and the base is just about three and a half by three inches. Chocolate is a heat sensitive glass, and the different temperature on the mold when it were when when they finished it gave us the different colorizations from the light to the darker look in the chocolate glass. Now I had this at one ten, so twenty percent off would be let's see ninety. 80, let's start it. Let's do 85. Round it to that. He's a really neat mold. He is a very heavy piece of glass, however, and he weighs one and a half pounds. So, this was originally on a font, which is how they pour their glass. So, you can see where it was cut off and ground down so he sits flat. And um, the 
the grinding, it almost goes almost out to the edge here, so it has a nice flat surface to sit on. I was looking for his logo. Oh, there it is, right here amongst the rocks where he's perched on. There's that little logo. Be great for fall or a theme display as well. Beautiful color. That sounds good, Kristen. Thank you, Miss Paula. I need a there's Millie. I wish somebody could go to the bathroom for me. That would be so much more convenient, wouldn't it? Okay. Oh, Ramola is in at 85. Ramola, depending on where we're at, I will definitely box this guy up inside whatever else so he will not knock into things and cause problems in a box. And Paula is counting them down. Let's see. Chocolate Owl. <laughs> Last call, we are sold. Thank you so much, Ramola. The tape is just sticking to me tonight, not the glass and the stickers. Okay, so this one goes here, that one goes there. Perfect. All right. like a surprise I just don't know I mean I only wrapped this up on uh, Saturday night I think I'd remember what it was but I don't I have a clear angel she is hollow so she is crystal and she was $30 so we can start her at 24 oh never mind I had it at 25 so we can start it at 20 even better now her logo her logo is, but she's got a sticker. She's got a sticker inside. Sometimes on bells they put them way up inside. She is six inches tall and about three by three on her base. She's a little bit wider front to back than she is side to side, but it's just like an eighth inch over three inches. Definitely go with almost any colorway display that you wanted to do. And the cool thing about the crystal is that we can put almost anything and including a tea light underneath. And they have the colored ones now, so you could put any color you want in the crystal angels. Oh, thank you, Pamela. I love everybody being able to just hang out and get along and uh, be able to enjoy all sorts of fun things, especially Fenton Glass. The little face is so cute. Trying to find the logo again for you all. It should be here somewhere. Sometimes they do get polished out when they did the finishing, um, if they were stretched from the shaping of the glass or it was somewhere that I got ground off. I don't know. Just not seeing it this time. But Nancy's in at 20. Thank you, Nancy. So I have Clear Angel. And we're counting it down. Thank you so much. Okay. Last call, and we are sold. Okay, this one, next one I'm pulling out is a multiple-piece set. And it's going to be one of those I'm not going to be able to tell you for sure who they made it for. I believe it is a Fenton made for another company, but I don't know who it was made for. And let's see, what does it say on the bottom? It says... 
Oh, we need the cheaters here. Oh, nice. Cool. Actually, Linda Fleming was at our um, at gala with us. Okay, it says Carnival Glass Encore. So this was probably made for a Carnival Glass Club. And it says Taylor right here. And then on the bottom, it says Carnival Glass Encore. That's just my blue sticker, so I know it's my glass. Nothing else right there. So it is the decanter. It's like a children's size decanter with four mini goblets. And an emerald green color with a carnival finish. I had it at $65 for the five, well, six-piece set if you count the stopper. And let's see, 6, 12, 13. So we can start it at $50 for the set. It's a really cute little piece. It looks like um, there's like a lotus flower kind of design in the middle here. And then grapes with leaves here. And I believe the grapes with the leaves there. This is how tall it is. And we're getting fuzzy because I moved too fast. Seven inches tall in the decanter. There we go. And the little goblets are two and a quarter inches tall and just about one inch across. And they have that same little mini grapes and leaf pattern around them. They are not marked, but they have that gorgeous carnival finish. And here, I'm gonna, this is the easiest way to hold them up. There's four of them. What did Midge say? <laughs> yeah, I think was that Linda Fleming? Yes, I believe so. I think she was in at NFGS and at Gala. And she was at Springfield as well. So I've seen her quite a bit this year. There's the little set with them side by side. A lot of the clubs, um, Carnival Club, Fenton Club. They had lots of the different glass companies make them um, specialty pieces for their conventions over the years. So. Oh, this is a heavy one. Thank you. This is a Santa. He is in the ivory satin. He has the standing Santa with the pack. He has poinsettias with a gold trim and some frit on his robe and his cuffs and more um, poinsettias down here at the bottom. Um, I had him at $100. At, so he would be an $80 start. And let's see, who is it painted by? Painted by Jay Powell, right there. He is the big guy, eight inches tall and about four inches across on the base. And again, he is well over a pound of glass. He is almost two pounds. He is one pound, 15 ounces of glass. And he also has painting here on his hood at the top of his head. He has a Fenton sticker right here. And he has the original barcode sticker with the color code and the mold code as well right there. Question would be where his logo is. I thought it would be right on the edge of his robe. They must have hit it somewhere else. Not see. But yes, he is ivory. So I'm going to hold up the white, that deer that um, Geneva claimed earlier, and see if we can show. Oh, are they going to show that they're different, or are they going to come up the same color? Yeah, he's, it's, it's a minute difference, but the deer is white, and he is ivory. All right, that's right. 
These ones are definitely weapon grade glass. I don't know is if he is hollow inside, but I don't know if you can, if we, does it show up? It shows up a little bit, kind of glows in there. So if you had, this is a flickering one. So that's why it's coming and going a little bit. If you had a nice bright um, LED, Votive to go underneath. Yeah, you could definitely see him light up. Show the face. Okay. It's just his eyes that are painted. His beard, his mustache are all details in the glass. Right. I just don't have a bright enough. I have that warm glow tea light and it and it flickers so it's hard to show it underneath this thicker piece of glass it's probably about a, a good quarter inch in most places on this santa so again he's got the gold with the frit on his um, ties and on his cuffs so it goes around here to the back as well Okay. Bring it over here to the side. Is it Ramola who wanted an extra one? Here's my extra liner. Um, I would say $15 on it if you want it. I did find it here in this box. Let's see, what's next? Oh, another um, children's size piece. This one is a covered butter dish. Um, this was made, oh, this is a Mosser one, but it's a cute little children's size. I think that's probably why I didn't have it out. Mosser for Jay Jennings. And there's the information about, it's an amber cherry blossom pattern. Look at the, um, the gorgeous, there's the cherry blossoms. Gorgeous carnival finish. And here is the lid for the cover. It is five inches across and just about two and a half inches tall, a little bit short. And I had 35 on it, so we can start it at 25. And I may have, see that's what, it's really hard to tell is who made what for who for these gloves. But there is the, um, cherry blossom pattern on the lid and it does not glow okay wonderful i will put you down for that ramola got it glad that was in the same box that made it easy i didn't have to go hunting for it kristen it is a um 25 start that it was originally 35 Oh, Patsy would like the Santa. So he was at 80, I believe. I'll double check. Yep, start was 80. All right. Thank you, Miss Patsy. I will put you down for him. Here's the there. Perfect. The Santas are hard to find. At least I don't find them as often as, as I'd like to. So I do have another one in another box. And if we're all good to carry on, we'll just keep going to the next box. Thank you, Miss Patsy. I'm going to show this first in the box. This was one of their ornament sets. Or, um, not sets. Themes, lines. It's like a brass hanger with the glass piece in the middle and this was an angel and then they did like a paint they painted over it so you could see the pattern more it is not in the correct box because the box says snowman ornament but just don't look at the back here is the ornament the brass 
outline and it holds like kind of like a cameo, a piece of glass. It was painted by Kay Brighthill or, or um, washed or whatever, because it just was, it's basically a wash of color and then wiped down so you can see um, basically the design in it. Comes with the box, even though it says snowman on it. I had a $50 start on it. So here it'll be 30, $37.50 as a start. And the size of this ornament is four and a half by three inches. And it is barely, I would say barely a half inch thick. It's four and a half by three inches. It has this nice foam and velvet case. So the ornament fits right in that, that oval. And then this mat goes in front of it, which is a little bit smaller opening and that helps keep it from falling out of the box as well. And then just like that, all put back together, even though it says no way. But it's a great way to keep it nice and safe. Somebody must have had multiple ornaments and when they put them away, they just put the wrong one in the box. No worries, Kristen. It's all good. Okay, this is a piece of extra. I'm going to put this one up here. And we'll go to the next box. There we go. Oh, I tell you what, guys, I'm totally into being able to do the next box, but I need a quick super duper break. Do you mind? Um, everybody refill their drinks. Give me one second and I'll be right back. And I'll give you, I'll be two minutes, I promise. All right, I'm back. Got the boxes stacked so I can get them out easier. I know, I was thinking about that. I need something to play while I do that super fast. Elevator music, Jeopardy. Okay, thank you. So much better. I appreciate the, the quick break. <laughs> All right, let's see what we've come up with. 
in this one. I have two critters that were from the Glass Pets collection. They come in their little box. I believe they are both the bird. Yep, I have two of the crystal birds. So, two, five, two four, five. This would be an $18 start. I have two of them available. That is doing my math right, hopefully. And that's where the logo is on that one. So I have, I believe what they did is they did all of these critters in crystal. So the duckling, the deer, the bird, the cat, the bunny, and the swan. And that's what they had as these in this shape box. And I have two of them with the bird in the box. We can do $18, we can just do a claim. It doesn't even need to be a, an offer. And they don't have, it just says Williams Tenning um, Glass Company. It has the original stickers on the bottom. I believe both of them have those stickers, they do. So, all right. You guys sit over here. Let's find something else interesting. Oh, I do have another kitten. Let's see. What does he wrap with? A pig. Okay, first up is a birthday cat with a rhinestone necklace. So it has the blue eyes and the blue rhinestones. I believe that is September for the birthstones. And, yep, I have, oh, September or December. If someone put these felt feet on it so the off excuse me the painter's name is right here underneath that foot i had it at 35 through six seven let's go with a 25 dollars start so this is the white with the carnival finish also on the cat for the birthday cats Geneva's still she's listening she knows her months what I started doing was putting um, the months on the sticker because I got tired of looking them up every time. Oh, Mallory's in at 25 on the cat. So we have the blue birthday cat. We can count it down. There. Try to make myself a little more room. I had all of um, this probably almost filled up the six foot table before I packed it up. So I'm going to cram it in on the desk here. Like rearrange and we'll have some more room to unload. Okay. That one goes there. This one goes here. Perfect. Thank you, Mallory. Next up is a pig. He is the white opal glass and shiny finish with his peachy um, red, peachy orange flower design and polka dots on his ears. I had him at 75. The pigs are a little bit harder to find. So we can start him at 60. And let's see, what does he have? Of course, more tape. Actually, we can start him at 55. I had him a little bit lower than that on a different sticker. Sorry, Kristen. He has a purple flower on his backside. And again, he has the original um, tag underneath. And the artist's signature is right underneath that. No, no, it's not. It's on the edge. Right there. L. Anderson. There we go. 
Oh, neat. Yeah. I do love the Santas because they're just like giant gnomes. This one, this shape of the pig reminds me of um, Babe from the movie. The way he's sitting. Next up, I have another, a second ruby and clear fairy light. This one has the white roses painted on it. Has the same clear base. So it's about four and a half inches tall. There's the big Fenton logo. This will be a, um, let's see, what do we got? Too many. 65 is what I had it marked at. So it'll be a $50 start. The diamond optic on the ruby glass. And there's a painting on both sides. There's the double rose on one side and the single rose on the side with the bud. Where is the artist? Right, I know, babe. That'll do, pig. That'll do. S. Uh, S. C. Schaefer. There we go. These ruby shades are a little bit thinner. They're a lot lighter weight. We'll throw the tea light in there so you can see it lit up. It's hitting the reflection at the same point where the tea light is. I do like the white on Ruby. Very pretty. I know there's certain movies that I sure love watching, especially with the kids. Isn't that where the, the sheep are like, bah, ram you? <laughs> well, I think mom uh, had uh, McDonald's toys from Babe. Happy Meals as well. Thank you, Kristen. All right. Next up. Come on now. We have an egg on stand. So it's the opal, opal glass, which is the white, and it has the gilded stripes and stand and a poinsettia with leaves painted on it. I had it at 45. So let's take not 10 off. So $35 start. It has two different fitting stickers on the base. And then it says 203 out of 1500 made. And it looks like Maybe D. Robinson, that's a pretty standard artist. If you're not familiar with the eggs, it stands about three and a half inches tall and is just about an inch and a half across at the base right here. Three and a half inches tall. This is a nice holiday floral and the gold really sets it off. A pretty piece. We go pretty with that uh, it's poinsettia and uh, holly, but it's kind of the same colorway for the Christmassy themed items. Thank you, Mary Beth. Wow. These are making it to the top of the box have a white hobnail fairy light painted with green holly and red berries. This was marked at 45, so it can start at 35. Has the big Fenton logo underneath. And what I don't know is depending on how thick this white melt glass is, is if my tea light will show up. It shows up just barely right around this bottom edge right here. Not too much. You need a much a little brighter. Those LED ones sure do help with um, lighting up the thicker glass like this, like the hobnail. Turn on light. Really? Can I turn it off too much? Phew. I thought I turned it off one too many times. We have Pamela in at 35. 
I'm going to put out some more sticky notes here. So it alternates on the panels, the longer painting and the shorter, each six sides, six uh, crimps, melon kind of um, sections on the lamp. Oh, and there's the artist too. D. Barbaros. Oh, my eyes. B. Barber. We're counting it down. Thank you. I have sticky notes ready on my desk. They don't slide around when I'm writing. It makes it so much easier to have, be able to work with one hand while I'm holding something else. So I'm going to get a few more ready. So we are counting that down for Pamela. Thank you, Pamela. It's a holly and hobnail. Perfect. Thank you. I have two of these little piggies. This is the pigs in bikinis. They came with little um, pieces of paper that were printed to look like beach towels. This little pig looks just pleased as punch with herself in her little bikini. She has her Fenton sticker right here. I had her at 75, so let's see, 14, 15. So we can start her at $60. She has her original sticker, and you can see the artist's name underneath there. Let's see, let's check it out quick. D. Frederick is the name of the artist right there. I do have two of them. The other one is somewhere in the box. This is that opal satinized finish. Her little sunglasses up on top of her head and her little face. They did um, bears in bikinis and the pigs in bikinis. Who knew that we were having a fairy light palooza tonight? And and critter, critter crazy. Oh, all right, Mallory, are you still awake? Not that, not that nobody else can pick it, but I have a key lime. I think it is called um, grooming kitty. Is the name of this one because she's like licking her paw. Key Lime Color Glass. I had her at 95. It is harder to find this color. Actually, I'm going to go with this one. 85, so another 15 off. So we can start her at 70. We can start her at $70. And she's got... The sticker over her painter artist, and I can't pull that one up easily, but here is the logo right there on the back. And she glows bright green like crazy. Look at her face just light up as well. Mallory is in at 70. Thank you, Mallory. Key Lime Cat. Yeah, she's a nice. This Key Lime color is amazing for the black light. <laughs> All right, we can count her down for Mallory. To the side. Once, going twice. Oh, neat. Yeah, I don't see the grooming cat as often either. You are correct. 
And last call. And we're sold to Mallory. Thank you so much. This is the Labrador dog. We've had a few kittens. Here's the puppy dog. This has such a heavy um, carnival finish on it. It is kind of hard to tell the color of the base glass. Um, here's his original sticker. Here's the other Fenton sticker. I had him at 95, so he would be an $85. No. It'd be, let's do an eight seventy-five dollar start. I'm trying to take off twenty and math in my head. He is a base glass color of cobalt. Don't know if there's a way for me to show you that or not. And it's hard to see. The thinner parts of glass, such as his paws right here, you can see it, and then it is tail but he has such a heavy iridized finish. He just looks like he, <clears throat> um, it could be any color glass underneath. It comes in ruby, it comes in cobalt, and I think they might have done it in ebony. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Man, I tried to force that sentence out. And, oh, you see cobalt? Wonderful. His logo, logo, is right here between the front and back paws. This is a bigger piece. He is about four inches tall, about three inches long and about two inches wide. And I believe he's also probably close to a pound of glass, 15 ounces. So really close to a pound of glass. There's his face. He's, he's a cutie. Okay. Next up. Surprise, surprise. I have another fairy link. This is French opal on the shade. And the blue basket weave on both pieces. Um, here is the logo. It has a boo-boo on the foot. There's a little chip right here on this foot and this foot. So it must have been set down a little bit hard. Actually, it's more than two. Maybe it bounced. One, two, three. You have four. It's got four chip. Only one foot is not chipped. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, you've got a great collection, Mallory. So it's going to be priced accordingly because of that. The base, I mean, excuse me, the shade does not have any issues. It's just the feet, like the base must have hit somewhere along the line. Um, there is the artist. We have two panels that are painted with like a blue and white daisy. And it is painted by C. Smith right here. And I will start this at, started at $20. It is a little bit bigger than the other size. It's about three and a half inches across. The shade is three, so it's about five inches tall. I mean, up on a shelf, you're really not going to see the feet. But, I mean, again, it tells a story, but it's a great piece and a chip on a foot. Shouldn't make it undisplayable, but it has definitely, um, somebody definitely didn't have a hold of it at one point. And it is painted on both sides both panels of that basket weave shade. And there is me. Oh. The blue glows. Let's see if you can see it. It glows it glows green. Again it's a little bit fainter, but you can definitely see it. <coughs> Excuse me. We've had some surprise glowy pieces tonight. 
I didn't even check some of them. Well, that's kind of fun to see that they do um, react to the UV light. Okay. We have another mini hobnail uh, mini vase. This is the green opalescent. That was at 35, so we can start it at uh, 25. And yes, she glows as well. I don't think it is not the same green as the key lime green. It's a little bit darker, just like what the kitten was. I believe, excuse me. I think it's similar green, boy, but it looks different with the overlay. It's still a little bit different. Not a lot of greens that glow. So this is a $25 mini vase and the green that glows and it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight crimps on the top. Again, that's about three and a half inches tall, three and three quarter inches tall is where those minis live about. Oh my goodness. Let's find another critter. We'll mix them in with the fairy lights. Mallory, your ears must just be ringing tonight. I have the sleeping kitty in the key lime. She is painted as well. The little yellow and orange floral. Had her at 55. So it would be, let's go with a $42 start. Here is her logo on the back and the original stickers. And again, they are, oh, no, nope, here is this artist signature. S. Stevens. And, of course, she glows just like her buddy that was grooming. So Mallory at 42 and Carol at 45. Mallory is 46. This is a little bit smaller. So she is about three inches long, two inches deep, and about two inches tall. So two inches this way, three inches this way, two inches this way. Mallory is out. Okay, Sleeping Kitty. That's the name of the shape. However, her eyes are open. And my favorite detail is that heart nose they put on these little critters. Here at 48 with Carol. Glowy girl, thank you so much, counting it down. Thank you, Mallory, for your offers as well. And Carol, you let me know too if you will be up at Loveland, if you want me to hold stuff or if you want me to ship it. And we are sold to Carol. Thank you. Okay. I have a rooster. This color, I remember, it's a gorgeous purple color. And the name of this color is Aubergine. Now, if you ask me to spell it, that's a whole different story, but I know the name of this color. There is his sticker and the original barcode with mold number and color code. So he will be $30 start. This guy is a little bit taller, about three and a half inches tall about three and a half inches long and about two inches wide. All right, wonderful, Carol, I will. Got nice detail on the feathers. 
it's a really it's it's got a little more red to it or a little more maroony purple than say a royal purple for the colorway. There you go. Becky Googled it. She got me. Or you just know how to spell. I just can't spell. I never have. Um, every time I went to spell uh, chameleon green, I would spell it differently every single time. Thank you, Becky. Next, I have a blue iridized elephant. I can't remember the name of this one. He's got his trunk up and he's got his foot up. I don't know, he might be the circus elephant. I'm not sure. But he has painting all along. Oh, good. All along his back. And a little floral flower on his ear. This was originally 50, so it will be 37 50 to start out. S. Byron is the artist painted this one. Oh, there's little florals on both ears, on one on each side. I love this shape. I'm going too fast. There we go. Are we doing okay, Kristen? Um, three and a half inches wide, or whatever, two inches deep, and about four inches tall, about four inches tall, three and a half by two. He's not, he's not satinized, but that um, iridized finish makes it a very smooth feel to this particular one. Okay, you just let me know. Uh, we're about halfway through the second box, so if, if everybody's good, I'll just keep going. And Mary Beth is in at 38. She's rounding it up for me. Thank you, Mary Beth. Oh, MJ says 39. Blue elephant, blue iridized elephant. Right, I'm, you know, when I do know the 25% off, I like saying it regardless. Mary Beth is 41. MJ is out. All right, sounds good, Pam. So we have Mary Beth at 41, and we're counting it down. I don't show my fitting as often on here. I'm not shipping it as much as I used to. So I thought it was a really great, it's a good plan to do smalls so that I could show you lots of pieces at once and we could um, get through lots of glass that way. I only have um, 10 more boxes of fitting that I packed up the other day, you know, from the show. So there's more out there. I got some big pieces. And I'm just not a big fan of shipping the big things. If there's something you're particularly looking for, let me know. I love having a, um, a want list, a, you know, a searching for list. It's not that um, I can't ship it. It's that between the shipping process itself, some things are just so much more prone to breaking. It really makes me sad on some of these vintage pieces of glass. And if they are big enough, if you get past that 12 by 12 by 12 cubic rate, the shipping prices just get crazy. So that's right. Kristen's learning all sorts of new stuff. I have an owl ring tree. It has the rose design on the base. It is in the colonial green color. So yeah, if you're looking for something, let me know. I just... I've seen so many pieces broken lately. I can do it. If you need it, I can ship it. Because I shipped a uh, three-foot swung vase a while back, and it arrived just fine. It was the start of 24 originally, so it will be six off. $18 start. Let's make it $15 start. Make it easy. Black glass risers and bases. Okay, Mary Beth. Um, alley cats. Now, um, yeah, I don't think you can barely get an alley cat for under a hundred, hundred and twenty-five dollars anymore. Um, 
I saw, and I know several people that I do fit and shows with, and I know they have alley cats. If there's something you're looking for, um, colorway, but they are, it's a big piece of glass and they are a chunk to start with. So I understand that. Oh yeah. The jadeite is amazing. Um, I definitely could. I will be in, um, yes, that's one of my other big shows coming up is the Sassy and Classy Glass Show in Alabama, which will be in Anderson, which is um, north of Rogersville, give or take an hour from um, Huntsville, just, just south of the border of Tennessee. We will be there the second weekend in November. We have um, vendors coming from all over the U.S. I have one from Georgia. I have one from Iowa. I have one from Illinois. Barb and I are coming from Colorado. Stephen has multiple vendors from Alabama. Um, John and Ann Minton will be there blowing glass ornaments every 15 minutes with everyone in their mobile glass studio. And they are out of Missouri. Um, those are the ones I know of off the top of my head. So it's always a fun time when we all get together for that. And it is a really fun show because of the interactiveness with the glow, um, excuse me, blowing ornaments. Okay, good to know, Pamela. Sometimes I just need to remind, you know, those reminders as well, because I get to go in and then Barb and Steve are like, Stephen are like, you told them you do that. I said, oh, I did? Whoops. <laughs> so, <clears throat> if I don't need it on a daily basis, sometimes it just escapes my memory, but I'm working on it. All right. And if you've been around Fenton, lately or if you're new to Fenton these little itty bitties which are just tiny nice are called 37s this is two inches tall it is two inches across with a handle and one and a half the other direction it has been made into a little creamer it is the older milk glass formula it fires I'm not sure if we can see that or not but this white part fires like with an opalescence. And um, these were commissioned by uh, Zeta Todd in Denver, Colorado in the 70s to 80s, I believe. And they are hard to find. Even though they are little bitties, they go for good money. I have this one at 125. So I would do um, 95 on it to start. They make this into... This little mold here, which is literally just teeny tiny, they've made it into toothpicks, little creamers, little baskets, a double handled um, creamer or vase, for lack of a better word. They have whimsied them out into all different shapes. They've made them into in all different colorways, including the crests with a little bitty handle like this. Some of them have the crest around the top, which is an amazing talent because it is so small. This is just one inch across. It is tiny. So yeah, there are collectors of just the 37s. So I had a couple, so I don't know what other colorways were in the box, but that is the French opalescent basically colorway because it's got the, the white opalescent, like the melt glass and then the clear handle. Let's do another fairy light because they're here. Cobalt iridized inverted strawberry pattern. We had this at $125, so it would be a $95 start. You can see the iridized even on the inside of the base. Uh, here is the Fenton logo. This stands about five inches tall. Yeah, just a little over five inches tall. And just to make sure it does not glow, but we'll put this one in here so we can see. I think most of what you're going to see is a reflection of the iridite finish, which is amazing. This is a newer piece. Let's see if we can see it just right on the edge. You can see the color coming, the light coming through the color there. I believe this is a 90s piece. 
but it doesn't have any, oh, it does have a number on it. Let's see. Why do they call it a 37? I think that's just the name for the number, for the mold that they had. Other than that, that's my guess. Um, this has a nine on it right here underneath the Fenton. So that means it was made in the nineties. <clears throat> So if you are into um, the next step of, of knowing colors and finishes and is knowing the number of the mold that was used to make a piece. A lot of people have um, the older shapes um, mold numbers memorized because they made so many different things by changing them and flaring them out or bringing them in to make different shapes, they have them memorized. Um, I've, it's always been called a 37. So I might have to look into that and see if I could figure out why it was named that, if that's just the mold number or what. Right, the inverted strawberry. So it, it's inverted because it has the pattern going in versus the pattern going out. And that the pattern is on the outside and it is smooth on the inside. Okay. I know there's more critters around. Oh, I have a couple butterflies. Let's do a choice. I believe these are both a pink and colorway. We'll start them at, um, let's start them at $35 each. I had them at 50 and 55. So one is, they are the same mold. This one is one pink color and it is a shiny finish. And this is a paler pink with an iridized finish. They have a little bit of a base that they stand on. And they have the original stickers on the bottom. Um, since they're not painted, there's no artist signatures. I was looking for a logo. Oh, not coming up with it on that one. Here's the other one, with the original stickers. So it'll be choice one or the other, starting at 35. This is one, I think, oh, there it is. There's the Fenton logo right there behind the back of the wings. This one with the iridized finish also has a sticker here. And there's the same shape. Their pattern is on the top side of their wings and the underside of their wings are a smooth, except for where the wings separate. There's no pattern underneath. I have seen this one in ebony painted like a monarch butterfly and it is gorgeous. I think there is a larger butterfly with its wings coming together, stands about that tall. And there's another butterfly where they cut off right here off the font and um, it sits almost flat on the surface or there's a brass hmm, stand that you can sometimes find with them. Oh, and then there's the one on the branch, which is like um, some people call them um, here it is actually, just unwrapping it. This is the butterfly on a branch. Some people call them a ring holder, but this is the butterfly shape that they will cut off right here, right across here. And it'll sit like flat on a table and or a brass little stand. This is crystal velvet. So it's crystal satinized finish, super smooth. And it can be a $25 start. It has florals and leaves all around the base. It is a little bit taller too. Almost five inches tall and the base is just a little over three inches across. <coughs> Excuse me. Cool, Kristen. This one, we had someone who did a display at Gala with this shape. I think they had over 70 different variations in colors, finishes, 
stains and paintings. It's amazing how many different ways they made this one. And looking for a logo. It's really hard to see. It's right here under the wing, right there. But it is a good stand for jewelry as well. <clears throat> I see Patsy at 25. Thank you, Patsy. All right, Kristen's counting us down. Okay. Thank you so much, Patsy. Oh, I forgot about these. Should have had it. Well, it's really hard. When you're packing, you just pack what fits in the box and it goes in there. And if it needs to go together, you have to wrap it together. <clears throat> Thank you, Patsy. Here is my other Marilyn Wagner piece. It is a plain, in terms of pattern, it's just got the scalloped edge. Blue roses on custard. I had 25 on it because it's a Marilyn Wagner. So I would do 18 as a start. Again, there's her name. And of course, that custard glows like crazy. And it does coordinate with this mini basket that I had earlier. So it's the same color glass and the same pattern painted on the toothpick. Or it'd be, um, you know, Q-tips, brushes, paper clips, all sorts of fun functional things. Yep. Yeah, Vicky is an amazing artist, an independent uh, artist and painter. She does an, a, a fantastic display. Her husband has this amazing setup for her. It's like a big metal frame. It's probably eight foot wide and eight foot tall and about four foot out. And it has these lights on it that shine back on the glass. And it makes all of it look wonderful. And that's right, Nancy had a, a butterfly, that, that big butterfly painted by her from um, Springfield, I believe, a year ago. This is a crystal mouse. It says, fun little cheeky big-eared mouse. Here's his logo right here on his backside, right by his tail. Yes, Patsy, you bought the basket. <clears throat> and this toothpick matches it um, same color glass same paint design and also painted by Marilyn Wagner same artist we can start the mouse at I had it at 50 so we can start it at 35 these are harder to find because lots of the independent artists now are trying to get they're getting the the unpainted pieces to personalize and paint, such as Vicky. So some of the in, um, plain glass is becoming a little bit harder to find these days. <laughs> You're welcome to, Patsy, if you like. I found it in a... I, I, I put them together. I had... Um, I found them in different places, but um, same color. Yeah, same, um, what do they call it? It's in line. It's the same um, grouping and same painting theme that they did, but um, different pieces. Yeah, I'm, I'm Wagner. I'll do 15 on it if you want, Patsy. I got a good price on it. If you want it, it's yours at 15. Mm 
You let me know if you want it. I'll set it right next to it so it doesn't get lonely. Okay, this is one of my favorite fairy lights that they have made. This Santa is my favorite shape. There's a two-piece base and chimney. All right, sounds good, Miss Patsy. Thank you. Here's the old sticker. So someone had a candle under on it, and it has kind of goobered up the sticker. There might even be a little wax in there. It's a new acquisition, so I haven't done it much to it since I got it home. Just unwrapped it to show you guys. There's no logo on the bottom. So this is should be um, late, late, early 70s. This is the Lime Sherbert. So it's the lime green colored glass with a satin finish, and they call it Lime Sherbert. And let me see. I was trying to find where. I had 75 on him, so I would start him at 60 here. He has a little rough spot right here on the back side of the shade. And about where it matches up, there's a little rough spot on the back of the base right there. So it looks shiny. So you can see the difference because of the satin finish. So I'm going to put them back together. We'll put the little light in there. See if we can see that at all. You can see it inside. He looks almost jade, but he's really not. He's very much a lime green. You can kind of see it right there. But it is on the back. And of course, same as the custard. The lime satin glows like crazy. Oh, he's kind of got a funny face like that. Let's try it one piece at a time. There we go. It has the detail of the little pom-pom on his hat. His nice big cheeks and nose. There's his eyes. Sometimes they paint these, which are really fun to see the different um, creativity that they have, but there you go. There he's light, lit up. Here's how the base lights up with the, his beard and it lines up right here with his mouth. That's usually where a, the a chip comes in is where the mouth lines up, but this one is on the back side. So we have the Santa fairy light. Two piece in lime. MJ is at 63. Still, if you let us know whether you'd like to be stay in or go out. Uh, yeah, I think um, I've seen it in white milk glass seen it in ruby i think it was made in cobalt i think it was made in custard there's probably a couple other colors but i've definitely seen it painted as well on different color bases but i like the angle of the chimney as well kind of the asymmetrical i like the face on this guy this is a fun shape MJ at 65, and I'm just going to set it down, so. I guess we'll go till my voice gives out, or we find the bottom of the box, if <laughs> depending on how we're doing. All right, Miss Steele, are you in or out? She is out. Thank you so much for letting me know. We have MJ at 65. And she's counting it down for us. I don't think I've had this many fairy lights up in a long time. I know that they are super popular. And I love picking them up when I can. So I got two at the gala this weekend. So that's kind of fun. Thank you. Appreciate your offers. Thank you, MJ. And I think the rest is critters. So 
So this is my last fairy light that's already out on the table. This is a custard winter scene. It's that typical um, base with the old Fenton sticker. And then the painting. I had it at 75, so we can start it at 60. There's a church. And the winter scene with glitter and frit on the trees, the fencing. This is a 1978 painted scene. There's the frit on the trees. And this one as well. But it with the fairy light. And then we will of course light it up with the black light. It is amazing. They have a really neat blush that they it looks like was airbrushed on um, the skyline to look like um, the sun going down. It's really pretty. You heading out, Mallory? Good night. Thanks for hanging out with us. Tell mom hi. I believe they did multiple different winter scenes over the years. There's been um, like a barn and a cabin and the church. I know they did some trains and some train stations, different kind of themes like that as well. Michael Dickinson is an artist that is well known for his trains um, paintings. Let's see, Frida. Hubbard, H-U-B-B-A-R-D, as the artist on that. <clears throat> I see a steel at 60. Thank you. Oh, what cameo? Custard. Custard, fairy light, painted. Patsy says 65. And there's the little, this is the standard um, pattern on the base. And then they use the plain shade for a fantastic canvas. I like the details of the fence and like the rolling hills because it's going up and down. Kind of like Colorado, it's got the mountains in the background. All right. Miss Patsy, are you in or out, please? <clears throat> Sorry, I hate clearing my voice over, and over again. Clearing my throat. Let's put this away. Steel is out. Thank you for letting us know. Patsy is in and we're counting it down. And I'm going to put the tag for this one on the inside, not on the paint. Thank you so much for both your offers. Mm -hmm. We're going to leave it sit right here in front of me. All right, congratulations, Miss Patsy. Let's see. I have to, well, we're going to have to do them separate. Well, let's see. I have two penguins available. We can do choice. I'll start them both at 60. I had one at 120. 140 in the ruby because our 125 I apparently have more than one sticker occasionally and this one started at 75 so we can do choice of 60 I have the ruby penguin with the white painting on it as original sticker underneath can I find the older paintings from the 70s they're harder to find because they're popular they have certain people who like to um, collect them as Stevens. 
The train ones are really harder to find. And if I'm not mistaken, since it goes to that Amberina little beak, you can see he has that Amberina glow. Lots of different places. He's got glitter on the paint as well on those trees with the winter scene. <clears throat> the other one is the white, and he's like holding a Christmas tree, kind of like under his wing there. Made for the 95th anniversary. Miss Patsy, if there's a certain color or a scene or something that you're looking for, would you email me about it? And then, um, then I'll know what you're looking for. Let's see. Here we go. Here's the artist on this one. Arn Competent? I don't know. Competent? Now, it is very clever. I'm just a little bit, they, they needed to line it up just a smidge more for me, but it is pretty good. Penguins are hard to find in Colorado. Maybe it's because they don't normally, aren't normally around here, but they're uh, like polar bears. Those are another shape that is hard to find here in Colorado. Let's see what else we have. I love the penguins. I have one piece of the cobalt iridized nativity uh, left. I had found about five or six pieces. This is my last piece. I would start him at um, $50. He is the standing up shepherd. Great, Patsy. Sounds good. And he's got the um, shepherd's hook that is attached. Where did they put it on? I guess it's just glued on because it's, it's all on the outside. There's nothing that it's through the glass. It's just attached on the outside. And he is six and a half inches tall and about two by two. Hi, Sammy. How are you doing tonight? Good to see you. Thanks for popping in. They made the um, nativity sets in a couple different ways. They did the crystal with iridized, and they did a natural finish, and they did another one with um, a little bit more jewel tones on the on the white or the ivory, and then they did this um, cobalt with an iridized finish. And boy, this whole set together is amazing. Um, the room next to me had, I think, all nine pieces. So it was pretty cool to see it all together. I have a small swung vase, bud vase, in the colonial blue hobnail. It is just at under um, nine inches tall. And I had it at 35, but we can start it at 20. Like a mini, it'd be like a mini start to a um, swung vase collection. You're half asleep. Well, I am just recovering from the uh, central time zone. Yeah. So it feels like 1030 here, but my brain says it's 1130. This is Colonial Blue. It does pre-logo, so there's that early 70s color. That small little bud base opening. Just under nine inches tall. Okay. Oh, if I run into bears. If you guys want bears, I have sitting bears in crystal. I have one with a ribbon, like a red and green ribbon on its neck. I have one with a scarf, but I'm not going to show those tonight. <coughs> Excuse me, because I have had those up before. And I have some bears in the crystal. If you need a bear, let me know. Speaking of bears, this is the other one of the other styles. He's the reclining bear. I would start him at um, $12. I had him at 15. He has crystal as well. They had about three or four different positions. 
I did. I missed it. Okay. We had Geneva on the swung base. Okay. Twelve thirty. Up. Oh, yep. You're you're in Eastern, aren't you? Okay. So we can count that down for Geneva. Blue hob bud. No worries. We got you. I got you, Geneva. And then I believe I saw... <coughs> I'm so sorry. I'm out. I'm going to have to refill that quick. I think I saw Patsy on... Tw oh, no, MJ. I have MJ on the reclining bear. Put a little something else in there that I can have a quick sip of. Ooh, so much better. So MJ. Okay, count that one down for MJ. Thank you so much. <clears throat> oh no, I'm sorry. I hope you can get some sleep. Goodness, I'm glad I don't have to get up at 6.30 in the morning anymore. I didn't as often. Just getting kids off to school. Some of those started earlier than others. I have the bird. He is that same little cute little budgie bird in French. Is he French opal? Barely. He has some opalescence right here in the front. He's painted with a pink floral. I had him at $35, so I'd start him at $25. Thank you, MJ. And thank you, Geneva. Um, and he is hand-painted by D. Robinson. It's really hard to see that white on the ground base. <clears throat> yeah. Kids off to school. That was, uh, everybody is done and done with that. So I don't have to worry about that anymore. Thank goodness. I believe this corresponded to a, um, they had a whole line with this floral on some of the lattice optic of like vases and lamps. It's a very dainty floral. Well, this one's different. Move my sticker so we can see it. I'm going to bring it up really close for you all. This is Rosaline is the name of the color. And I'm going to need my magnifying, magnifying glass. Let's see. Intaglio. And that's... Um, it's another glass company, I believe, that used Fenton Cullet. This color is called Rosaline. It's a heat-sensitive heat glass, so it goes from this dark blush to an almost pale and white at the top. It's an apple that's been made with their Cullet, and it is stamped with Intaglio on the base. I had $40 on it, so it would be a $30 start. It is a heavy piece. I'm thinking close to a pound of glass. 15 ounces again. Yep. And it is it's about three inches at the shoulder, two and a half across. And it is three and a quarter tall with that stem. About two and a half, three. What did I just say? I just said how tall that was, or wide it was. Two and three quarters right here. It's a really pretty um, colorway. 
a lot of people will call the heat sensitive glass slags but they are not again yes definitely another weapon grade piece of glass so it, it looks like it is like mixed with multiple colors but it's really the same glass that has just been heated at different temperatures to bring out different colorways throughout the glass like burmese blue burmese um, sea mist chocolate rosaline um, what's another one the blue one is periwinkle mongolian green all are heat sensitive glass and not a slag yes it is definitely you don't want anybody to chuck that across the room at you, that's for sure. It is. It's amazing what, I mean, they've just experimented over the years. And I'm um, trying to get certain things, different colorways to show up. And it amaz and, and they'll come up with something different that they weren't even looking for in the first place. I have a plain Christmas tree. This is that original pattern. There is no embellishment to it. There's no frit. There's no glitter. There's no snow. Just plain, shiny. It is the um, four and a quarter inch tree. This size. I had 65 on it. So let's see. <laughs> Excuse me. It could start at 50 here. And I do believe it is the same colorway as this big tree. Same color glass. This one has all the frit and glitter and the brass charm. And this is just the plain green. It's really kind of um, sad, though, in a way, too. We're hearing that lots of the um, current glass companies are having a hard time having enough glass workers because it's a it's a skilled um, art to to learn. It takes a long time to um, know how to handle the medium, and it is a hot and uh, it's a it's a hot job. It would be tough. Definitely would be a tough job. Okay. This is something that I haven't showed. Show shown this style tonight. This is hand painted by F or excuse me, A. Farley. Oh, no, it's not. I thought it was sandblasted. It's not. It's just hand painted with a little bit of glitter and frit on the holly. I had it at 55, so 40 would be a start. And this is a little different bird. So here's the other one, the other shape we've been showing. We, as in me, myself, and I. And there is the artist. And let's see, is it? No, it is opal. It is white glass, satinized. And then the glitter and the frit have been applied. We had one like this that had a carving on it. And I guess I just thought that, I glanced at it quickly and thought that's what it was. I have a sheep in the cobalt iridized. This is also, um, well, it could be used in a nativity scene. It would be a $40 start. They've made this in a couple different colorways. They had it with um, white with painted with shamrocks. I've seen it in the Easter spring collection. And then for the shepherds for the nativity. I know, it would be something to learn. It takes a lot of hours to um, apprentice or I don't know what else they would call it, honestly. It's you and me, Kristen. 
I'm going to show you another one that is hard to find here in Colorado. It's the dolphin. A lot of time this dolphin, because it is at um, the way the mold and the shape is, he'll lean over. He'll either lean too far this way or he'll lean too far one way to the side or the other. So I had him and he is painted. He's got embellishments with um, the waves. And underneath here, like the splash. <laughs> and I had him at 125. So he would be a $100 start. He's in that aqua color, which is amazing. And he's about four inches tall, three inches on the base, and about two and a half this way. Not like so. I know other people are still here. I know it's getting late and we've gone a little bit longer than we normally do. I can save the rest of the box for another time or we can just power through and finish up. I guess will be the, I have about 10 pieces, 10 or 12 pieces, give or take left. <clears throat> we were talking about those little 37s. Here is a French opalescent crimped. This would be, I had it at 45, so it would be 35. Right. I haven't even looked at it lately. Let me go double check quick, see where we're at. Oh, mine won't have it updated yet, but I'll give myself a thumbs up. How's that? That sounds like a great plan. And then we have to go back to all chat because it kicks me off every time. Keep going, Pamela's like, keep going. I'm not asleep yet. We're going to test Kristen's uh, typing skills at this hour. So here's the blue opalescent with the handle. Um, just like the white one in the 37. So it would also be a $100 start. And they are just teeny tiny. Sorry. The, um, this one, the French opalescent was a $30 start. And the blue one was 100. I mean, what you want to think as Something is smaller, it should be less money, but it takes so much more skill to make them this small, but they definitely don't run cheap. And these are some of the common colors, the French opalescent, the milk glass, the blue opalescent. You start getting into some of the harder to find colors, say with um, the ebony or a flame crest or topaz or plum, and they will cost you probably three to four hundred dollars a piece especially if it has a basket handle on it so there's something to watch out for when i picked this one up the vendor had it marked toothpick holder i said i'll take that and i don't think any of them are marked with um the fenton logo at all on the bottom so <laughs> that's usually how i watch too pam so I picked up a couple of color rods at one of the shows. These are like samples. It says Fenton, hand blown. It has the number on it and then a date. Um, these will be um, $15 each. So this one is 11, 10, 19, 60 and whatever color code that was. And the reason why I picked these two was because they both fluoresce. So there's the green. And an amber and the amber goes to a really a bright yellowy green color and the green one goes to that um, Vaseline green glow as well so how did I know um, well multiple things because I've been around Fenton enough lately are uh, in the last I don't know let's see since about 1819 I've been really um, gotten into the Fenton much more in terms of knowing what's what. I've been to um, conventions 
over the years. And, um, and then one of the really fun things is that um, the lady who had this shape commissioned from Fenton, her name was Zita Todd, and she was one of my grandmother's friends in the Denver area in the 70s and the 80s. So she had her own collectibles and glass shop. And my grandma would run around and shop and hang out with her. And I used to see her when I was a young kid at shows. So it's really kind of fun to go. I, I kind of kind of puts one more extra little special thing together for me about these 37s. So that's right. That's right. We got glow sticks everywhere. Which is kind of fun. I would love to be able, I don't know, if we need to, I don't know, could you make that into a piece of jewelry? It's kind of neat. Um, let's see, Rose came out with that. I have a key lime Scotty dog. He is painted, quote unquote. He's got his eyes and his nose painted. Not much. S. Smith, C. Smith. I had him at 85, so he would be $70 start. Scotty dogs are harder to find. Here is his little logo right here on the side of his tail. I thought it was there. Oh, yeah, it's there. It's just hard to see. Right there. And, of course, he lights up. This key lime color. Super, super cool. Opalescent 30. Is that for this guy? Right, this little 37. I believe so. I'm going to put Patsy. And opal. Right, 30. Sounds good. Thank you, Miss Patsy. That we did the puppy dog. Here's another green bear. Totally different green. He's a little more teal color with an opalescence to his ears and his nose. I had him at $40, so he would be a $30 start. He is plain, so he's got, but he's got the opalescent right on the edge of his toes, his face, and his ears. And his little logo is right there on the back side. I do like this color. It's almost a teal. It's not quite blue enough for a teal, but he sure is close. Oh, goodness. That one was heavy. Oh, see? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Patsy, I'd have to look it up. I think it was in the 70s, but I'm not sure. It should be um, it should be referenced, I think, in the book um, Fenton for Other Companies, one of John Walk's books, I believe. There's probably another company, another book that would have it in it as well. But the gal's name is Zita, Z-I-T-A, Todd. I think it's T-O-D-D, -D, I think is how it was spelled. And she had like A to Z um, collectibles in Denver, Colorado. Here's the other pig shape. Key lime. I must have hit a key lime pocket last summer. That's where I picked all these guys up. Totally glow. This is a $65 start. I have two of these available. So it would be a $50 start here. Look, see if we can see the artist's name on it. 
A. Farley. And I believe there are two of these little pigs, like his little, his little backside is adorable. This is the same shape pig that had the bikini on. Let's see if we can do a, a blast to the end. I have a different Santa shape. He is a good size, about four inches tall. He's not near as big as that outstanding Santa, but he is totally painted. Let it snow on his sweater. Frit. And I had him at 95, so he'd be a $75 start. He is airbrushed and painted. Here's his little face. It's probably about four and a half inches wide here. So if there's something you're interested in, I'll just try and do as quick as we can through the last few pieces, and then we'll call it a night. This is a, um, this color is called mulberry. It is an overlay. So like the green over the white is an overlay. This is a, um, you can see the color here. It is a cobalt over the ruby. And that's where you get your color from that purpley color down to that sapphire color. It is a smaller mini vase. I had it at 55, so it would be a uh, $45 start. It's a cute little like beaded garland pattern around the top of it. And it was signed by John Fenton. There must have had some event in 1997. And here's the original sticker. And it has the original hang tag as well. But it is a nice size piece. About four and a half inches tall, probably about three inches across right here. Mulberry is a very popular color pattern, colorway, excuse me, of glass. So you can see how blue it is at the base. And then it goes to that purpley red at the top. I'm running out of space. Usually Don Fenton didn't have anything to do with the glass itself. It was probably at an event um, where there was a, a tent or a sale or a convention or something like that. And some of the Fentons would be available for signing pieces of glass. I mean, they own the company. That's where it ties in. I have... This is the tall, big angel that goes with the nativity set. Again, she is a pound plus of glass. At her $45, so she'd be a $35 start. And I believe she is a pale, a pale blue color, but I'm having a hard time seeing it. And she's got that gorgeous iridized finish, so it all reflects. And it's really hard to see her base color. It could be crystal. Now it's crystal. She's clear. Clear and iridized. She's again about over a pound of glass. I have choice on the mini bears. I have the aqua and the pink. They were at 45, so they would be a $35 start. And they <clears throat> sit just a little bit shorter. Then the original sitting bears, and two and a half inches tall. But they have that super cute face. Same design as the big one, just a little bit smaller. Kristen, we're going to make a run for the finish line. I have a white egg painted with violets in the snow. It's a purple striping on it. I had this at 35, so it would be a $25 start. The egg on stand. I have a purple shoe, which is like a scallop design with the cat head on the tongue. Look at the paw going down the front there. Had that at 18, so that would be what? 
Let's do a third, which would be six. Twelve dollars. Twelve dollars on the purple shoe. And there's the Fenton logo, right? By the heel. Hope Steel says 25 on the egg. All right, I got you. Thank you. The violets in the snow egg. Perfect. Thank you so much. I have one piece of the glistening woods where they took um, certain critters and they covered them in glitter, painted them and glittered them. This is the little bunny rabbit. Um, she's got her original stickers. I had her at 52. We're around it to, so $38 start. So her eyes and her ears and her little cheeks are painted. And the artist name, artist is underneath the stickers. Thank you, Steele. Um, that same little budgie bird I have in blue. Be a $30 start. Again, that logo is right in front of the wing. A little puddle duck. I had him earlier in the a different color. I'm not going to be able to remember. But this is the crystal velvet. So it's a crystal with a satin finish. There's the logo right under his wing. This is an older one with that sticker. I had him at 22, so minus. let's make him 16 with this one. You'd like to see the penguin again, not a problem. I have the ruby with the white winter scene, and I had the white with the scarf and the tree. And there is the 95th anniversary sticker. And I believe we started them both at, was it 60? Or maybe I did them separately. I'd have to scroll back and look further. I'm not sure where it is, but it was 60. All right, for each. For choice. Got it. Kristen's got a good memory and fast typing skills. All right, I think I have the last the last wrap. It's two angels. I have two birthday angels. Hmm. I think they're both pink. Maybe one's red. Have the birthday angels so she has the little flower with a rhinestone that's pink and it should be october and she's ten dollars and then i believe that one's purple so that would be february i believe the eyes are playing tricks on me they almost look the same no this is purple and that would be ten dollars as well and I think minus a few bears, which are all plain and uh, crystal, we have made it through our boxes from the gala show that I did. So <clears throat> I have one full desk right now. <laughs> so for all of those of you who've made it to the end um, watching with me, thank you so much. No worries, Miss Patsy. You just let me know. I'll be here, you know, in the chat. Message me, whatever. That works. So I know it's getting late for everyone. I know we're just trying to scramble to the end of the box. And thank you, Kristen, so much for helping out with tonight, especially for all the fast uh, typing here at the end. 
and um, for everyone for your purchases. That was awesome. I love being able to bring you beautiful glass and I love it going to places that I know will appreciate it and have a uh, join up with another collection that fits in with perfectly. So I'm going to say good night again. And um, if you need to message me, send me what you're looking for. Send me whatever um, we passed up and went by super fast here at the end. And we'll go from there. So I look forward to seeing everybody in person to the shows that are coming up in um, Loveland and Alabama. I will be here on Tuesday night. And I do have a night scheduled again with Trisha for October. So when it gets closer to that, I will let everybody know. So thank you so much. Have a good night, everyone.